everyone now in this video we are going to uh, cover the basics of draw toolbar now draw toolbar in general you will find it at the starting of the ribbon this portion we call this portion ribbon and the first toolbar in general is known as draw toolbar okay that contains all the draw commands like line polyline circle and all now suppose that you don't have uh, this toolbar in your AutoCAD software or you are not able to see this. So what you can do is you can right click on the ribbon and you can click on uh, show tabs and you'll find all of these uh, options here and panels as well. So basically toolbar will be visible in panels and if you want a specific tab to be uh, visible, you can make it visible from here. So if draw toolbar is not visible, you can right click on the ribbon and you can check this draw toolbar icon. Now in case ribbon is not visible, so in that particular case what you are going to do is you are going to use ribbon command, press enter and your ribbon will be available and you can turn it off as well by using ribbon close R I W O N C L O S E ribbon close and ribbon will disappear and you can bring it again so this is how you will bring the draw toolbar uh, in the interface now let's discuss about commands now the first command is line so line is simply uh, basically you will uh, uh, specify points one by one by using any coordinate system whether it is absolute or relative you can specify points you can use mouse as well and you can draw the lines now basically you will not have to uh, select line again and again if you need to draw continuously okay so that's one advantage of uh, this line command so this is something that you need to understand now in polyline as well we have the same option but the difference will be in selection so this is the first command that is line okay and in order to get out of any command you will have to press escape then next command is polyline so polyline is uh, basically an advanced version of line so you will have to start from a point after that you can draw a line you can draw a curve okay so there are multiple options that you can use okay you can uh, basically specify any angle by using angle command so these are some things that you can do in polyline and one more advantage is polyline will be selected all at once okay you will not be able to select it in segments so that is second command in draw toolbar and in order to convert this polyline into line you will have to use explode command this one explode you will click on explode and you will see that your polyline is basically broken into smaller segments so that's about line and polyline next command is circle unlike line and polyline circle has uh, different ways to draw you can draw a circle using center and radius you can draw using center diameter so this uh, these two are the most common methods then you can draw a circle using two points so basically the end points of the diameter will be the end points uh, th those two points will be the end point of the diameter then next is three point circle so three point circle is basically a circle that passes through three different points okay next is if you are not provided with the center okay then you can use this uh, tangent tangent and radius basically you know two places where the circle is tangent and you know the radius so you can insert it using 10 10 radius and third option is 10 10 10 so 10 10 10 is basically an option in which you do not need to specify any radius now let's uh, take an example like suppose that i want to uh, insert a circle or draw a circle that touches this one this one and this one so i do not need to specify any radius in this case so that's these are the six methods to draw a circle next command in draw toolbar is arc so we can draw an arc using 10 11 different methods 
not 10, 11 different methods using three points. So first point, second point and third point. That's one method. Next is start, center and end. Starting, then center and after that end point. Now take a look. In this one, what is happening is basically the uh, arc, this is being formed in anti-clockwise direction. So to reverse its direction, you will have to press control and the direction will be reversed. So that's start, center, end. Next is start, center and angle. So suppose that this is starting point, this is the center point and you know the angle that this arc extends till 45 degree only so you can enter angle and arc will be inserted next is start center and length if you know the length of the arc so start center and then length of the arc so basically you can draw an arc like this so after that next method is uh, start end and angle so you will give the starting point end point and then angle that this arc represents so suppose that this arc is in uh, 45 degree only so press 45 and press enter so basically this is the uh, arc that you will find in 45 degree angle next method is start end and direction so suppose that you are starting from this particular point and this is the end and then you can change its direction how you want to insert this particular arc so that is start end and direction next is start end and radius so starting point end point and radius so how much radius uh, you want to provide so that's start uh, start end and radius next one is center start and end so basically this is the sequence in which you will have to specify the points okay so if you are providing center then starting point and then uh, end point so suppose that this is the center of our arc then this is the starting point and this is the end point so this is again start center end and all of these uh, directions you will find in this command bar as well okay now next is center start and angle so i think all of you will be able to cover it so center uh, if you have center and starting point and angle like suppose that we have the same center and we have this point as the starting point and we want to insert an arc or we want to draw an arc for an angle of 120 degree only but in reverse direction so press control and after that uh, input the value so you will be able to do that next is center start and length so if you have a center if you have a starting point and you have the length of this arc so you can use this method as well so these are uh, the most common methods next is if you have one starting point and you can basically uh, click on the next point and uh, autocad will create the arc by itself so this is about r command next is rectangle now in rectangle basically there are two options rectangle and polygon so you cannot draw a rectangle using polygon this is something that you need to understand polygon is a geometrical shape uh, that contains more uh, three or more than three sides that's a polygon but in autocad basically polygon is considered as a regular polygon only now rectangle has different length and width so you cannot draw it using polygon commands so rectangle you can draw by using different methods like chamfer elevation so these are uh, some points that you can do uh, provide so if you specify the first point then you will have three different methods like if you have the area you will use area option if you have length and width you will use dimensions and if you want to rotate it you will provide the rotation angle so suppose that I want to rotate it by an angle of 45 degree and then next is I need to specify length and width. So specify the length as 50 units and width as 20 units and you will see that rectangle is inserted like this. Okay, so that's about rectangle. Next is polygon. 
Now in polygon, suppose that I'm use I'm drawing a hexagon. So there are two different options. One is using center, another one is using edge. Now you can find these options in uh, command bar. Okay, let me bring this command bar above. Okay. Now click on polygon, specify number of sides. Now you have two different options. One is using center. Now if you are using center, you will have two options. One is inscribed and another one is circumscribed. Now inscribed in circle means you have the distance of center to the corner. Okay. So just take a look. You have the distance till the corner. That is something that you need to understand. That was the option of inscribed. Now I'm going to use the second option that is circumscribed. Now number of sides I'm taking again six. Click on the same and this time I'm using the option of circumscribed. So in circumscribed basically you will have the distance of uh, perpendicular distance on the side. Perpendicular from center of the polygon to the side of the polygon. So that is in the second option. Now you can draw a polygon using edge option as well. So specify number of sides 6, click on edge, specify the endpoints of an edge and you can create a polygon like this. So just take a look, you can create it like this. So basically if you have the side, you will use this edge option, otherwise you will be using the uh, center option. Okay. Now after that we have uh, this ellipse. So ellipse has uh, two options using center and major axis and minor axis. Suppose that this is the center, this is the major axis and this is the minor, minor axis. So this is the first option. Now next one that we have is using axis ends. So suppose that I have these two endpoints and these are the endpoints of an axis and this is the second axis. So that is ellipse. Now next option is elliptical arc. So elliptical arc basically will have uh, uh, you will have to specify the axis endpoints. So suppose that these are the axis endpoints. So select these points and then you will have to specify another axis and then after that you will have to give the starting point and ending point. So this is how these three methods are there to draw an ellipse. After that, next very important command is hatch command. Now hatch is a command that you use in uh, filling a particular area with a specific pattern or a specific color. So that is something that uh, you can do. Okay. Now these pattern, uh, you can adjust everything from this option that is available, which is hatch editor. Okay. Now in this one, basically you have all of the required values that you can adjust. Okay. You can uh, fill it with a solid color. Now if you will zoom in, you will find that there is a pattern that we have filled here. Now you can adjust or change this pattern by changing the angle. You can make it more or less transparent. After that you can change the color, then you can change the background. So all of these options uh, are there that you can use. Now suppose that you change this number. So just take a look. This pattern is enlarged. So if you are in hatch command, you will find this hatch editor. So this is a new tab that opens in hatch always. Okay. So there are not a lot of commands in which a new tab will open. One is hatch. Another one is mtext. And uh, another one is array. So these three commands are there in which you will find that a new tab is opened here in a different color. Okay. So that's about hatch. Now draw toolbar is not limited to these commands. If you will click on these, uh, this arrow, you will find a bunch of other options as well. Like these two options, SP line fit and SP line CV. So these are for curves like just take a look. I'm drawing any curve. So So this is how you can create any curve. Now it has two different options using uh, 
these uh, basic sp line the first one which is sp line fit another one is sp line cv so in cv cv basically means control vertices so you will specify a starting point then a corner point and another corner point and you will see that the curve will bend between the lines that our points are creating so this is about using drawing using sp line cv control vertices okay so that's about these sp line next one is construction line so construction line is a line of infinite length in both directions so you will simply have to specify a point and a line on both direction infinite uh, infinitely long will be created automatically okay so all you need to specify is a line and then an angle at which you want to set it okay then click so this is about construction lines now in construction line uh, you you will not come out of the command until or unless you are, you are pressing x so you can create construction lines in a continuous manner like this so you simply need to click or specify angles and you will be able to create all of these construction lines now next one is ray so before coming to ray let me delete these options here that we have used now ray is another very important uh, command that we can use in order to draw the projections so in ray you will create a line again of infinite length but only in one direction okay this time directions are not uh, basically uh, line is not in both direction this will be in one direction only so this is the use of ray command we, while drawing projections we can use ray command in order to show the projection lines so that's ray next option is point so you can specify points anywhere but right now you are not able to see those points okay you have specified points but you are not able to see them so press escape and you can change the point type by pressing p type press enter and you will find these options as soon as you select this option and specify the size you will be able to see those points okay so po and p type these are two commands that are related to point and are available in draw toolbar next one is divide you can divide a line into any number of segments that you want so click on divide then select the object select the object press enter and and uh, specify the number of segments so basically you will see that uh, points are created and uh, the line is divided into five equal segments okay so that's divide command next one is measure okay so suppose that i want to uh, let me undo these things i want to specify point i want to spec uh, specify points starting from this particular point and i want that after every 10 units i uh, need a point so in that particular case i am going to use measure command so click on measure select the object and then specify length 10 and you will see that a point will be created after every 10 units and you can measure it by using dimension command as well so just take a look okay but the end may not necessarily be of the same length just click on this and you will see that the end is not of uh, 10 units okay so measure and uh, uh, this uh, measure command and divide command they are a little bit they have a little bit similarity but the main difference is divide will divide your line into equal parts that you specify and measure will measure the specific length that you have provided and it will start from the left side and the end point will be left there itself okay the end segment may not be of this uh, required length okay so that's the difference between measure and divide 
then 3d polyline we have discussed polyline now if we are creating a polyline into three dimensions that is 3d polyline helix is a command that will create a helical object in two dimension or in three dimension that totally depends on the person who is creating it okay so that's helix so if you are if you will uh, rotate these viewpoints you will see that this is uh, the helical diagram that is created and you can basically specify this uh, you can reduce this height or you can change all of these things so that is totally up to you so that's helix after that next is donut so donut will create uh, like suppose that i'm selecting inside diameter as 50 and outside diameter as 70 you will see that we are able to create these donut shape objects so that is the use of donut command now if you will click on donut and use explode command press enter you will see that only one circle will be left outer and inner will not be there but you will find that the circle that we are seeing there uh, basically that is one only okay so that's the use of explode can uh, change the donut into a circle but the circle will be of average radius so that is something that you need to understand next is revision cloud revision cloud in general is used if you want to see a drawing a part of drawing later on again if you want to see a part again suppose that you are creating a complex drawing and uh, uh, you are confused in a particular portion so if you are uh, if you want to come to that particular portion again you will use this region option and there are multiple options as well like suppose that if i specify that i want to see this particular area again so this is how this is what will be the use of revision cloud okay so these are the main commands in draw toolbar now this in every toolbar you will find an option of pinning that toolbar if you will uh, take your cursor away what will happen the toolbar will disappear so if you click on this particular arrow and after clicking on this arrow if you click here if you click on pin your toolbar will not disappear so that's about all the commands of draw toolbar I hope uh, you guys like the content. So that's all for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.